everybody. My name is Dion Morales, your host of the Gold Squadron Podcast. We're coming to you live from the Tatooine Galactic Championship Qualifier. It is round one. Thank you, everybody, for joining us today. I'm joined by Will Haigwood on commentary today. How's it going, everybody? And the return of Jonah Piscani on stats and stuff. Hi, everybody. The prodigal son has returned, and uh, I'm very excited to be here. So we're going to get started here. We have Jason Hall versus Garth Jones. Uh, this should be a good matchup. Empire versus the First Order. We're going to have Will break down these lists in a minute. But before we do that, let me remind you that today is brought to you by Gold Squadron Paint Wars. If you haven't watched that show yet that we've been putting on as a YouTube series, I highly suggest that you do it. We have put our blood, sweat, and tears into that show, and uh, it has brought us some absolutely beautiful painted ships some of which are being given away today for our stream uh if we hit the goals but it is time everybody to choose your champion put it in the comments down below who do you think is going to win this game and if you're watching live the instructions will be on the bottom of your screen it is time to choose your champion all right Dion. let's make sure you get that uh we got all the preparations out of the way, uh, including, you know, hands and things. Watch your hands, Tim. This is a moving carriage. Put all hands inside <laughs> the carriage at all times. Dang it. All right. <laughs> uh, anyways, let's start with uh, Jason Hall's uh, Imperial list here on the left. You bet one champion. Uh, has two interceptors. That's Saber Squadron Ace, the I-4, and Suntir Fell, uh, the I-6, who gets the free focus at the start of engagement phase if there's a ship in his bullseye. Both of them rocking Predator there, trying to line up those bullseyes to get uh, re-rolls on a ship that can't even target lock. Um, backing them up is Rear Admiral Chirinel in the Decimator, uh, with Intimidation to reduce Agility, Darth Vader uh, for a Force Point, um, potential token stripping or even damage dealing if the person in the front or in the arc at range 0 to 2 doesn't have a token to get rid of. Um, has a hull upgrade, Dion, that puts it up to a chunky 17 health. And, 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 and a math problem. Like <laughs> a math problem. <laughs> Uh, that's, uh, nine damage, Doom, nine, uh, for the half point threshold. Uh, then Dauntless to be able to take a red action when they partially execute a maneuver. Um, so, a little bit of, uh, chunky jouster there in Rear Admiral, um, being able to intimidate and... Uh, strip the tokens with Darth Vader and then the squints as I call them on uh, the interceptors you can do a fast flank here and we see them on the move cutting through the asteroid or excuse me the gas clouds uh, coming in for a flank there um, so we better get through Garth Guffy Jones's list here on the right um, for engagement. Uh, that's a first order list that has three provocateurs. Um, those are the I-3 um, first order interceptors. All of them have the automated targeting priority, so they have to shoot the closest ship, or the ship in the closest range band, rather. Um, and if they miss, they get a free calculate. Uh, combines well with being able to take depletes for target locks or barrel rolls uh, with fine-tuned thrusters uh, to really keep that offense going uh, through the mid and late game so you can bank up a couple of those automated target priorities. Though, if they're shooting at a decimator, uh, it's going to be a sad day uh, to mm -hmm. be getting uh, calculates against Rear Admiral Cheer now. Though, another heavyweight uh, large base out here that's major striden uh, has that big four dice attack and 12 overall health striden can coordinate um up to range three um doesn't look like there's any other abilities so that's basically his thing is that he can coordinate up to range three 
uh, has the sensor buoys that uh, sadly the Imperials decided not to shoot at. Uh, just let them hang out. If you get uh, range one of those sensor buoys, uh, Major Strident's gonna take a free lock on you when he engages. But the real, uh, oh man, I about said the real Hux instead of the real uh, Crux. Uh, <laughs> it is Major Hux. Uh, which is uh, while you perform a white action, uh, you may treat a right white coordinate action. You may treat it as red. If you do, you can coordinate up to two additional ships of the same ship type. That's why there's three provocateurs out there. On uh, each ship you coordinate, must perform the same action, treating that action as red. So uh, these guys can all come up. Um, if they're feeling aggressive, they'll take strains uh, for locks take a focus action in the perform action step and then can get huxed and evade uh, for some real uh, modification. Um, has a uh, jammer beam because of course it's free, why not? Um, and electronic baffle to remove a red token for a damage in the in phase which could be the red there's the stress from the red at coordinate action of Hux in case they need to get that major stride in moving. Uh, so that's, it'll be interesting. I, I've seen the, this list a couple times to try to juice up these provocateurs mm -hmm. and uh, we will see if major stride in can keep safe. I mean, these interceptors are coming. The, the major stride in can't K-turn. Very limited dial, especially if he stresses himself. And soon tier fell here is getting on uh, that flank as soon as he can. Uh, he, he is he is screaming in though. Strident really only got to touch you once, and then you can, you could die with that with that four dice gun in the front. Uh, but let's go ahead and see how our audience is feeling about this game. If we take a look at the current choose your champion numbers, we can see that fifty percent. Uh, excuse me, fifty seven percent of our audience thinks that Jason has the advantage. With a couple of bets starting to come in. Uh, Garth Guppy Jones waves. We still have one minute left in the voting. So if you're going to be playing Choose Your Champion, the time is now. Thank you to everybody who has joined us at uh, 2 o'clock. We're at 3.30 in the morning here in Chicago time. If you're in the USA, you're sleepy, sleepy. Most of the world waking up right now, unless you're on the complete other side of the planet, uh, like some of our Australian friends, then, uh, then you know, you've been awake for a while. But we got X-Wing action for you here today. Six rounds coming in. And uh, those provocateurs starting to set themselves up. I, f I feel like um, Garth here is possibly baiting Soontir into the corner because I feel like those uh, those provocateurs have the ability to get around those two clouds on the bottom. And if, uh, if Soontir goes too hard into that corner, that could be a bad day. Yeah, they have. Uh, so we did see the Hux uh, give them red evade actions. Very powerful. Uh, coordinate economy there. Um, they And they <clears throat> they have the hard ones and one banks. I think they even have the two banks as well. The hard one being the, the main maneuver there. So, uh, I mean, I don't think white could, but the other ones certainly could. Mm-hmm. We'll see how fast. I mean, I am expecting a fast move over here. Fire forward. Yeah. <laughs> from soon to here. Uh, focus boost and try to start nipping at that major stride in. Yeah, I think I think that boost definitely catches that uh, that back of the base right there. Start get start getting to him. Cause I mean, if if you can, uh, I mean, it is a common strategy against Upsilons, right? Is they they. Um, you know they don't have anything out the, that threatens out the backside. If you can take them out early, and then make them a non-issue, it can really help in the late game. Right, here we go. Looks like we have a shot. Sunter fell range three. I instinctively reached for uh, for my uh, the stats window, but we got uh, we got Jonah Piscani. On the stats today. Here we go. Two focuses and a blank to get started. And uh, no stress taken there for, uh, for a Ooh. focus before the boost. So that means no damage is going to be coming in. 
So, Will, who uh, do you think? Not with those evades being rolled. Oh yeah, <laughs> Netties. <laughs> um, who do you think has the? Uh, who who do you think has the advantage? Um, well, so that that's what I was thinking about. I mean, the the jousting power of these uh, provocateurs and strident could burn down this decimator in two turns, like not a problem. Especially if they all close in a range one. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe get some flanking uh, that reinforce token uh, but uh, I think uh, Guppy here kind of had a rigid opening uh, wanting to keep the provocateurs close mm -hmm. um, and kind of traveled d uh, the Upsilon down the side of the board and cut around the corner obviously a very practiced opening because uh, he knew that the stride in hard two would fit uh, but I think it has given Soon Tier time to now uh, cause a ruckus. And we're seeing uh, Jason being able to attack at three different vectors here. You know, I, uh, I, I like that uh, th that word you just used there, a rigid opening. So let, let's talk mm -hmm. about that a little bit. So, uh, you, so a practice or a rigid opening, uh, re referring to something that people have practiced before, right? Usually you'll notice it because it'll be kind of a, a more strange or risky looking set of moves that the person is, is kind of doing confidently, right? It's like, I, I know this, where my ships are going to go when I do these set of maneuvers and they were, they started in, you know, a certain position. Um, advantages there is, of course, you know where you're going. You could maybe create something unexpected, but the rigidity could create uh, situations kind of like what we're, what we're seeing here on the board where you might be giving your opponent an opportunity, especially if they move fast, to, uh, to take advantage of your current positioning. Yeah, and I, I to assume that he's keeping the provocateurs close to protect that vulnerable... Uh flanking position from soon tier um, but it looks like the um the first order uh is not taking the bait they're going towards rare multure now i mean that that is 99 points of chunk out there so if you can uh if you can take that down early uh, while still having your provocateurs and strident alive, that seems like a like a good good way to to threaten soon tier, and uh, it kind of it's a it's a resource management thing, right? Is you know that those provocateurs uh, over time they're gonna start you know start taking some damage. They only have four health each. You want to have as many of them alive while you can uh, take down that decimator. Especially you got Vader out there, uh, potentially setting up some auto damage or, or stripping away some of those tokens. I would like to share uh, that before the game, Jason shared with me that he had plenty of uh, room in his list for a shield upgrade, but he put a hull upgrade in there just to mess with deal. <laughs> <laughs> and and he he may succeed. There, there there's still a chance that that happens. Absolutely, <laughs> gotta love it. Yeah, Jason Jason is a uh, you know, but both these both these guys are great members of our community. Um, but yeah, <laughs> and, the, and there come the whole upgrade emotes in the chat. Gotta love it. So, uh, yeah, we locked in here with final voting with 55% leaning Jason's way, 44% leading Guppy's way. We'll see how, how things end up uh, rolling out here. And just want to, again, thank you all for joining us this morning. And uh, as I, I, I think energy will increase as we continue here. I haven't had a chance to go grab my coffee yet. Uh, <laughs> soon, soon, uh, I'm, I'm going to sneak I away know. to go do that. <laughs> I know. I'm waiting on my French press as well. I broke my coffee machine, so I got to go old school. That's right. You, you, you've been, you've been uh, blessed with fancier coffee, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> sure. All right. So we didn't see Hux uh, this round. Uh, Stratton chose the reinforce uh, for the rear for Suntier's obvious flank. I mean, that's, that's a uh, good defensive, good defensive choice. Stratton uh, is not going to have a shot. No, unfortunately not. There's the Darth Vader trigger. So we're going to go ahead and check his front arc. 
And that blue Thai BA has a green token there, but can choose to take a damage. Uh, but was, um, in, was, was he range three? That was range three, yes. Range three, so no trigger there. If we can pull up the Darth Vader card uh, by typing in the, the box there, Jonah, in like the lower center section, we can pull up that Darth Vader crew card. And we'll see that soon tier fells start of engagement focus coming down. Mm -hmm. Nice easy boost got him into the flank here. Yep. I think he's going after trying to get some focus fire on the white uh provocateur. No, oh, that that's interesting. You know, he had he has three shots on the blue one. Uh but we will mm -hmm. see triple triple focuses. Yeah, spend it. Ain't nobody shooting at you. So Strident doing a good job of uh, providing a focus token that gets used here. And looks like half points straight away because there's no evade tokens out there. Oh, no. All right. So we got some it. early damage there. And here we go. Range three. Looking at the First Order Provocateur in blue already. Three dice coming in. Two crits. I don't believe there's a way to re-roll in his no. list currently. No, no lone wolf, no target lock, nothing like that. And here we go. One evade. Plus spend the focus, so no damage on that shot. Though that is going to end up hampering the offense for that Provocateur against the Decimator. Especially with that Reinforce out there. And it looks like we are going to be doubling down on the white Thai BA. Already lost two shields. Let's see if you can finish it off in the opening. Here's the roll. Ooh, two oh, hits paint. that's right third one becomes a uh, a hit after spending the focus looking for paint on these dice and uh Oof. you will spend the focus to survive yeah. with one yeah some hot red dice they're all paints from the interceptors it's all they can ask for uh with uh not being able to line up those bullseyes. I'm um, still putting out three hits apiece. All right, here we go. Shots being fired into the decimator. Triple blanks. Man, that white provocateur Yikes. cannot Just catch a break. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got to calculate going down. Gonna need it. There you go. Next shot. Another range three. Here's the roll. And that will be a focus expenditure for two hits and a crit. We'll get some damage this time. Spend the force from Vader for mm -hmm. one evade. The reinforce for a second evade. And only a single shield after that three hit roll next shot range three unmodded here two hits all right you got you might be able to get one through yeah it's guaranteed one either the reinforce or the dice is going to do it and reinforce will allow a single damage through Reinforce action. I feel like it's uh, it's a little bit underrated in second edition. Just even though we've been we've been in set, you know we, we we say that we've been in second edition for years at this point, but uh, you know it's 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 interesting. We we there's not it's not as what is, what is, what am I looking for? I think it's a perception issue, right? Because it used to be mm -hmm. even better, right? It used to be oh, even shit. better. Yeah. Um, yeah. 
and they they tone down the power but that doesn't mean that reinforce isn't good and you you that is a perfect example right there decimator uh being shot at by three different ships and only comes out with two shields that's a that's a that's a lot did some work for sure yeah i'm uh uh interested to see what on the provocateurs because the, the imperials have an easy three-way uh I, vector i guess i don't know what other word to describe it that they're all coming in from yeah. three different angles right um but uh the problem is that rear admiral doesn't mind just hard three in here so you have the dauntless title doesn't want to shoot at the person in front anyways um no, because the target's white. So it's you're gonna have to figure out a way to skip white over for the block or just vacate completely, which is kind of a feels bad to leave before the engagement's even done. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and oh okay. We are getting a a hard turn towards that saber squadron. So, Will, we have a, a couple folks asking, how did Reinforce work in 1st Edition? I think you, you, should, you oh. should know this. <laughs> I know this a lot because I used to fly a lot of Oz the Tucks. Um, it would add an evade result uh, when, new, when comparing results. Uh, so it didn't have the minimum of one uh, to activate. So mm -hmm. you would see... Uh, these one agility Ozatux dodging like two or three hits if they're if it's at long range, which is it, it was absurd. <laughs> uh, the the minimum of one really really helped. I yeah. think Val it was way too out. good. <laughs> it was way too good. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, I mean, there was also a way to get focuses and evades every round. So yep. And not, it, uh, it was focusing reinforced every round with Ray crew. Yep. So it was very efficient. <laughs> All right. Oh, so I still think it's good. I mean, it's like if your ship was like, hey, do you want like three of aids in one action? Okay. All right. We're getting stop. a stop. We're getting a stop here from Striden. That's interesting. All right, so the white did block successfully, taking that deplete or barrel roll using the fine tuned thrusters ship ability of the interceptor. Hey, real quick here, shout out to Martin for gifting a sub to the channel. Thank you so much. This is sub September. All right, so the and and you called it. You called it rack hard turns in here. Uh, looking at all those delicious provocateurs, seeing where they're going to shoot. And Darth Vader is going to be triggering this turn as well. Uh, looks like Shiranu grabbed a reinforce for the action. And that's just to trigger, Ooh, the, trigger the ability. That's just a bit... I feel like that's a bit conservative. Because you only have Strident and shooting at you. I and think you oh, easily have taken a lock. Soon tier only goes too straight. I think uh, Guppy was trying to block Soon tier to avoid some shots coming in, and Soon tier went as slow as as he possibly could to make sure that he was able to get a shot. So that's going to be a range one shot with a focus into Striden, most likely, unless uh, we get a target change here from Soon tier. Yeah, uh, you'd have to barrel boost. To get a shot on, uh, I guess bear roll would do it, but then you lose your free focus. Yep. So just throws down the evade, pick up the focus and the reroll in combat. And here's that Vader trigger, deciding where he's going to do it. And it looks like Jason is choosing the ship that's at range one right now. I'm a little bit surprised that he didn't go at white uh, because it's it's at a single hole. Not to be able to to shoot it this turn, but I think Jason is prioritizing the range one shot. 
Yeah, I got range one. Plus that one's shooting as well, so the mm -hmm. focus can be used for red dice. Um, man, Darth Vader is so good. It's basically like, hey, at the start of combat, do you want to jam something? Mm -hmm. we've, we've gotten accustomed to how good jam is. All right, well, here's soon tier four dice range one with a focus from his ability. And here we go. We got the reroll from Predator. Not quite a full strain. We're going to be at three hits. And we did get the evade from Strident. So it's going to be two taking two uh, shields early on here. All right. And here we go. Next shot. Rack. Range one into the blue provocateur. Rack's ability is active. And here's a roll. Oh, natty. that is a natty full string. Three hits and two crits because of Rack's ability. Uh, oh, no, sorry. That was just because there's not a focus change there. But oh. we're going to get hit crit oh. going into that. Uh, and by the way, why only two agility? That's because that ship mm -hmm. was strained. Mm -hmm. So half yeah. points right off the bat. Yeah, it was strained blue there, clenching real hard uh, after the after seeing the natty roll by um, Rack. And a big good morning from Lambolo checking in here and dropping a bunch of subs to get us started. Four die shot from Major Striden. Here's the roll and two hits and a crit right now going into rack. Reinforced triggers. That's going to be two more damage. Shields are down on the decimator. We have the hole exposed. All yeah, 13, not 12, 13. <laughs> Call mm -hmm. upgrade of, of that uh, juicy, juicy hole. Yeah, reinforce was the right call there. Kept the crit on the shield. Here's a saber going into stride in three hits and got it, even without the mods. I'm telling you, this turn, the reds are hot mm -hmm. and all three of those are going through. Oh, yeah. yeah, Jason thanking his red dice here. Uh, for to, I think is really tipping the scales. I almost have uh, three ships. And here are the provocateurs coming back in. We got range two shot. Looking at the saber squadron that ended up being bumped. Mm -hmm. You got two range ones. This, you got to clear this yeah, off this, the table, right? Yeah, yeah. That's how you even the game here. Uh, doesn't have the focus. Got Vader off. Was able to get the lock from the strain earlier. And ends up being worth it. Three hits. Looks good. And two of those three are going through. We're at, we got half points on the Saber Squadron. Yep, we've got Orange with a follow-up attack here. I believe who barrel rolled. No lockout there right now. So, still four dice focus on three dice. This is the way. Here we go. Trying to clear a ship off the table. And, hey, you're going to have three after spending the focus. Yeah, the saver can't possibly natty out to survive this round, can he? No. <laughs> <laughs> it was close. It was close. Like Will, one. Will trying to speak it into existence there. Not <laughs> quite. <laughs> so the Saber Squadron goes down. Uh, score after this round of engagement. We got 42 to 37. Jason Hall leading the way. So today we got six rounds. Uh, let's go ahead and take a second and talk about the Galactic Championship Series. Anybody who's maybe tuning in for the first time, uh, or maybe you're not familiar with the entire series, this is, I believe, it's the seventh or the sixth out of eight qualifiers. We, there's, a, there's a ton of qualifiers. We are really, really trying to give as many people as possible an opportunity to uh, to be a part of the series and, and get into that uh 
the Galactic Championship Finals. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we're on the sixth of, of eight uh, Galaxies qualifiers. Everybody who's in the top 32 will be invited to the battle for Alderaan, the Galactic Championship uh, online event here. Uh, with GSP next event if you want to get in on the action is October 2nd those of you who are fans of hyperspace uh, That is is coming your way and Then October 23rd we have Scarif as well as our last extended event and Then of course the battle for Alderaan the finale is is the uh, November 6th, the Galactic Championship finale. Super excited for that. Have some uh, some more announcements coming out of that. Specifically talking a little bit about the format. Because, Will, it's not going to be quite the same. We changing it up just a what little bit. the format's changing? What the format? You're changing. springing this news on me. Oh, yeah, just, just, just a little. Just a little bit of spice. A little bit of spice. Just a bit. I promise. Uh, no panic. Uh, speaking of panic, uh, we actually have a scoring update um, because we saw an electronic baffle take Major Strident's last shield. Ooh. Okay. Do you think is that? Are we get a, a double stop coming in? I have no idea at this point, but you, I think so. I mean, Suntir had to risk the like three sloop to try to counter that yeah i mean so i think the play here you gave up half points but you're hoping that soon tier ends up in front of you uh again if we can throw up electronic baffle of people who are not familiar with that card uh it reads during the end phase you may suffer one hit damage to remove one red token so um Again, it's it's uh, trying trying to move that uh, that uh, that that cost around, trying to see see what you can end up doing doing here. Uh, Nick, I mean, if, go ahead. If you're gonna if you can take one damage from Baffle instead of three or four from range one shot, I think that's I think that's a fair trade. Mm hmm. I I 100% agree. Now, Nick Leader. 77 in the chat asking have you seen the razor crest from amg oh yeah oh yeah we posted it out there we are super excited uh to see what they have going today um yeah it, it is it is looking cool uh also great to hear from atomic mass games uh you know what they plan on talking about in their in their x-wing panel i know some people uh got a little disappointed when they saw that it was only a single x-wing panel but it seems like they they have there looks like they're planning a lot will in that uh um, in that then that so, time that they set set aside so frog lady crew or re riot or what <laughs> Uh, can I get frog, uh, frog egg, illicit slot? When? Come on. Yes. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> well, um, I, I, I can't really, I don't know how to respond to that. So I'm just going to keep pretending <laughs> like you didn't bring up the frog lady crew. Uh, <laughs> Fair enough. And uh, Martin is asking, are you planning to give away a custom ship today? I mean, I would love to if we can hit our goals. Absolutely. Absolutely. We got some awesome Paint Wars ship. We have a Paint War ship uh, at the top of our uh, stretch goals. We also have a awesome uh, YV666 painted by, um, painted by Tommy Adams, uh, p potentially up for, uh, for giveaway today as well. Which paint worship are you uh, putting up? Oh, that's a mystery, sir. <laughs> that is you a mystery. my Discord. You can DM. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I don't, I don't know if I like this, too, with the Brock Tour is left to the fight. Left stranded all alone. And... Starting the ha has to stop. I mean that that flank from Suntier really messing up uh, Striden's plans here of coordinating a bunch of actions to everybody. Okay. 
Uh oh. Now let's see. We have Dauntless Durgarin. Uh, didn't or part partially executed a maneuver, so we're gonna take a white action, treating it as a red. Okay, going to decide on um, reinforce or not here. I think you tiger lock. This is the time. Let's go. Yes. Get aggressive. He does do the slew. No. Oh. <laughs> okay. Called him. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I'll tell you, uh, Jason today is, he is on it. Yeah, he's playing. He's 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 been practicing Suntir a lot because his, his Suntir is on point right now. All right, so here we go. We got a range one shot. Of course, Suntir's ability going off as well, allowing him to scoop up a focus. And we're gonna get a range one shot here in a moment. Yeah, it's going to be eight dice on Striden here. We didn't see a Darth Vader charge. We're almost just going to use it uh, oh! offensively here. Oh, my goodness. Oh! One hit, three crits looking at Striden, and he's taking all of it. Let's wow. go. Damage to the First Order looking bigly right now. Three crits. First one is a Council Fire. Second one is a whole breach. Turns out all the cards are face up from now on. And to boot, we got a weapons failure as well. Yeah, that's going to put him down to two hull remaining. And Rear Emeralds got a ranged one. Target lock, four dice, and force attack coming in. Should be a pretty easy to put this. Uh, oops, lawn down before it fires. Time to go night night. Four dice, one hit to start. Yeah. We have that target okay. log. Yeah, could see blanks in the blanks here. Not and today. Nope. Not today. That's going to end up being three hits and a crit. Uh, sorry, th uh, four hits, excuse me, after spending the force. And uh, Strident goes down. Uh, goes down quickly here. Four crits here from that whole breach. So, blinded pilot. Just getting riddled here. Uh, direct hit. How many cards? More. I, I don't know. So, this is still. <laughs> all these are face up here. So, that. Yep, yeah, that one's face up too. That's another whole breach. Everything's extra critty here. Stone pilot. And one more. Fuel leak. Well, at least it was the last guy. No, that's all four. No, one, two, three, four. No. It's just not going to stop. All right, there it goes. <laughs> just won't stop bleeding all the cards. Every card. Yeah, unfortunately, <clears throat> with that beautiful sloop there, just called the electronic baffle stop. Uh, these provocateurs won't have any shots. That's a total of uh, nine crits, by the way. Yikes. That's a lot of crits. <laughs> That's going to be a bad day. <laughs> All righty. Well, it looks like the blue provocateur did not have any shots, and uh, neither did the other ones. So uh, what it seemed is really the the flank that Jason created early on has uh, has really been to his advantage. He was able to take down Stride in this turn for uh, you know at the cost of nothing. He he didn't take any uh, any shots. Of course, Stride in going down before being able to shoot with the uh, with the uh, initiative rules. You know the you have Suntier at six. Rear Admiral at five, meaning that, uh, you know, you go boom, boom. You don't get to go pew, pew. Exactly. And now uh, you have uh, blue here in between um, the two Imperials uh, with shields down already. And white's only on one health as well. It's easy to be initiative killed. Uh, so they're going to need to get 
guns on target here quick if they're going to make up the damage. I mean, realistically, you're going to need two provocateurs to fight soon tier in the end. Yep. At this point, to make up ground, uh, if Garth has Rack and have Suntir, he ties. And so he pretty much needs to destroy um, entirely one of them and half the other to win. All right, there we go. We have we have the numbers. We are we are set there. We'll find out what ends up happening with uh, with this battle. All right, I was doing a, a doing a double check here, and yep, that looks good to go. All right, wanted to confirm something with uh, with some background with some background friends here, but uh, we're we're good. We're good to go. No problem. Everything is fine. We're setting up a target lock here from uh, the provocateur onto yeah, rear admiral. This, sure. Took this strain. Really confident in that gas cloud going to help him out here. Gas cloud, take the wheel, baby. I mean, you're going to have to be. <laughs> All right, try to take a target lock there and failed uh, to reach the enemy ship. Yeah, you know, you know what's real sad about starting to go down is the sensor buoys are useless now. Boos. They got such a great ability. Yeah. I almost naysayed Strat and I was like, oh, well, Strat coordinating all the time. How is he going to modify his dice? He was getting free locks in the sensor buoys. I think the biggest thing that's going to end up hurting uh, Guppy here is the fact that he didn't really get any offense out of uh, Strident either. I feel like in this squad, you really need Strident to contribute offensively. Suntir did not bump. That is pixels right there. <laughs> Alrighty, so Suntir... Uh, can decide to not get shot. <laughs> Barrel rolled to yeah. the right and said, yeah, mm -hmm. I think I will do that. <laughs> Though, didn't take an action first, a, uh, a, a modification action first? Didn't, I think uh, he, oh, must, no, he, he must have said it. Okay, focus for, barrel. You don't, get, you don't get free focuses for Rear Emerald being in your bullseye. Uh... I don't know what's up there. He's either got to be stressed or he's really assuming that bullseye. Stress on soon tier. Right, well, he's shooting. He's got two hits into Blue Provocateur who blanks out. Takes two and dies. Uh, and uh, Jonah, you let them know that you put the stress out there, right? Yep, I got it. All right, cool. Who yikes! Looking at dice stats already. Not look good. Actually, they're not that bad. Okay, I take that back. They're not that bad. <laughs> they're still not that bad. Will over here. I've seen worse. All right, two hits going from the uh, rear of Mosheranu into the orange provocateur. We got three agility because of the strain plus the range. Here's the roll. And is there a focus out there? Yep. Yeah, he's got focus. We're fine. Everything's fine. All right. White provocateur survives. <clears throat> survives the round to shoot every admiral. Range three obstructed. And reinforced. So that's that's a lot of modification. And here we go. This is through. Nope. But it's going to be two hits. We got two agility here for this decimator. We'll see if the cloud can save them. And not quite, because I think the force got spent on the attack. So we're going to get a damage there mm 
On the decimator. Uh, he spent it to strip the focus out of somebody, I think. No? Not gonna stop. Oh, he stripped the focus off of blue behind him. Mm -hmm. That's what it was. All right, so I uh, will be revealing here in our break between rounds what our Paint Wars giveaway ship is. I will say that it is um, it is super cute, <laughs> in my opinion. I really, I really, I really like this one. Um, it is, uh, it is a ship that when my daughter saw it, she asked Poppy. Can I have it? <laughs> Can I have it? And I, I had to tell her no, guys. I had to tell her no. Because we had giveaways. We had giveaways. I couldn't. I couldn't give it to the child. But I give it to one of you. Coming soon. Who here in the chat has... Wa what, what has been... You know, I'm going to assume every single one of you have watched Paint Wars... Favorite episode so far? Let us know right now in the chat. Make your voice heard. Favorite Paint Wars episode? I thought the Mario Kart one was really, really cool. They've all been great, but uh, I really enjoyed seeing that one. All right. Looks like we have some uh, some Mordor fans. Smog. Dia de los Muertos. Haven't watched any. Well, you know what you can do, my friend? Exclamation point PW to watch Paint Wars. That'll get you the playlist. That's some good entertainment between rounds. All right. Some people said the first one was their favorite. Awesome. I mean, yeah, the painters in that first episode were extremely strong. Now that the yeah, others I aren't. I think I would have to I think I would have to agree. I did like the smog one, but I think the the fire sprays uh looked I don't know I don't know how to say it, but they they were all just extreme caliber. Mm -hmm. uh, the the ice blasters, man. I think that's what got me. <laughs> the... <laughs> you know what I mean? Just... Oh yeah. Uh, this looks super cool. So we did have a stream here on Brie Admiral going over the cloud. Yellow or white also went over the cloud, and I was probably gonna die to soon tier here. Just nice little barrel roll, focus predator, blast that ship out of the sky. And there's the roll. Yeah, the, the scene tier making it look easy in this game. Jason's doing an amazing job. I I will tell you, man. When 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 you get soon tier into that like early position that is just good, mm -hmm. and you have answers every single turn and and are modified, like soon tier just looks unstoppable in those situations. You're like, how am I supposed yeah. to catch this thing? I feel like it's always getting just out of my arc. As well, you know. It just, it has to all do with that setup and that opening uh, engagement. Yeah. I mean, that's the uh, interesting part about Soon Tier is that you got to keep your bullseye facing the enemy. Uh, you can't just turn away randomly. Um, better aggressive than nine. The aggression paying off here. Four, Four hits. hits. That's going to kill that chip. Guaranteed. And we have another death of a provocateur. On the hands of Suntir Fell, the Ace of Legend. 25 minutes left on the clock. Only a single provocateur left. Uh, Guppy holding on. Holding on for dear life Wait. with these uh, th this F order, order ship. Are they not bumped? I guess they're not bumped. It was incredibly close. Like, it looks like they're touching, but it was not. Yeah, I thought the bump, I thought the nub got him, but apparently not. All right, so that was two hits. 
on the attack. We'll see what the provocateur rolls here. And it looks like both of those are going through. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't think he rolled anything on that. That's difficult to come back from. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I, I have a hard time uh, pointing at, you know, the Jason's red dice carrying him here. Um, but he's also doing a great job lining up these shots. And he, for the most part, has modifications um, for a lot of these anyways. Um, but yeah, they have tipped the scales in an extreme way uh, that uh, Guppy just unable to come back from. In order to win, uh, Guppy would need to destroy the entire list at this point. Let's go, Provocateur! Provocateur! <laughs> Team Provocateur, we always cheer for the underdog. Let's go! I mean, what's, the, what's the craziest thing you can do here? His rear emeralds one banking. Okay, not a big deal. What do they got? They got two sloops? Oh, I should know this because I fly hollow all the time. They definitely have two sloops. Ah, uh, yeah, sloop in and boxing tier. No. It's going to want to bank and focus. And here we go. Yeah. Rear Admiral do, doing the one bank as, as predicted. I'm guessing we're gonna get a target lock as an action. Is my guess. Yep. I'm surprised it didn't rotate there. I mean, it's in the driver's seat here, right? So, mm -hmm. not a problem. All right, soon here. How do you get out of this? I don't think you. You have to bank boost in, which I don't think you can do. I don't think you can get out of that. To the right. He, he may have uh, he may, may have got himself trapped here. Yeah, the barrel out boost back in ain't gonna do it. Uh, yeah, you evade. Slap down the squiggle. Guaranteed spaghetti. Any chance the barrel roll out followed by a boost in would uh, get out of that? No. because no, you'd only be... You'd still be in the arc. You, you'd have about a quarter of your base left. Yeah, even even if you, uh, you went bear roll forward, there's not enough room. All right, so he's going to boost to the left. He's trying to get Suntir in a better position for next turn, but that's still going to be range one. Provocateur has an opportunity to do something here. There it is. Range one. He forgot to Vader away the focus. Uh, he's, he's not He's not in uh, in arc. So no no oh, yeah. Vader unless yeah. you're in arc. And we Ooh, got a full string. Yeah. Spin oh. that. Three hits and a crit. Soon tear shaking in his boots. Yeah, needs, needs a natural here to stay on the board. Let's go. Roll roll those dice. Spends oh. evade, but that's going to be okay. hit crit. Okay. If we get a double damage, that's the end of Suntir. Unless Suntir has a I'm, anything. I nope. am ready for that direct hit to keep the provocateur in the game here. Here we go. Drum roll. Drum roll. Panic, Panic. pilot, though. That's oh. not great either. That's triple stress now from the, the boost linked. Action before. Mm-hmm. That's gonna keep soon tier out of the fight. Gonna I mean you almost have to hard to away now to try to get out of this. Grabman right. picked up the lock and with I mean I would assume we're just gonna hard turn towards soon tier to keep the pressure on. Yeah, you have to. You, you got to get a, you got to get more aggressive right now to make sure that uh, you can protect right. Suntier. But I I think yeah. that uh, Guppy can use that to his advantage as well because you kind of know that you're gonna you're being you're gonna have Suntier on the run. I doubt Suntier is gonna get uh, back into the action. And if you can position yourself in a spot maybe where you can still get a shot on Suntier and maybe block Rack. 
and start taking some shots, and, uh, and, and then you can start picking away. There's still 20 minutes on this clock. It's going to be tough. I I don't know where that hard one lands for orange. Yeah, it would have been too close. Chose the one bank, which does uh, work. So what do you do? You barrel roll in on the gas cloud to block. That's what exactly what I was roll? thinking. If you have, if you think you have the space, you do not have the space for that. No way. Because look at where soon here sitting. Like you don't have. You don't have an, an extra, extra whole extra base. Yeah. Yeah. Just gonna strain lock, going full aggression here. I love it. And we see rack bumping, but bumping into soon here. No actions. Has the target lock carried over from last turn, plus the Darth Vader. Rolling for the cloud. Will end up taking a strain, potentially. Not today. And, of course, Vader's going to eat up that focus. Or, or maybe if you have a shot. Um, ah, yes, we do have the Dauntless trigger as yep. well. So we're yes, gonna get well, it's gonna skip your perform action step dauntless though not your perform action step it's technically while you're still executing a maneuver mm-hmm well be, it would be between them i guess exactly I'm gonna reinforce why would we'll just take the focus man yeah i'm surprised we didn't get the focus i think i, I think he, that's he a... wants the crit if only one goes through he wants the crit i guess that's aggressive I mean, it's it's a bit unnecessary, right? But hey, we, man, when you rack, you rack. All right, <laughs> like when, you, when you like reinforce and you like reinforce it. All right. I mean, with the if you don't do the Vader, no, nah, so yeah, that's, that's, that's I, you, I just you, I kind of Vader and then focus and just blast that thing. Mm -hmm. It took a strain. Like you could end this game if you just get four hits. So. Uh, I don't know. Is he going back into beating it now? Yeah, I mean, yeah, the, the reinforce is is a mistake. You're not being shot at. All right, no, he didn't. He just moved it to to look at it. And soon tier stays in arc, but clears the stress. Rocketeer has the chance here. All he's got to do is survive Darth Vader and Rear Admiral Tier now. Just uh, survive. Just. <laughs> All right, here we go. Range one shot. This could decide it right here. Yeah. Yeah, we have Vader strips the thing. And then four dice lock. Or four dice lock. Eyeball to crit. Which I'm going to call force still. Uh, against two agility because of the strain. And here we go. And oh, that focus token's looking really good. <laughs> oh no! Don't Got two both. hits, two focus guarantee has the, guarantee the three. Yeah, exactly. There, there's yeah, yeah. Guarantee the three. All right, that's four that's... hits off of the rack ability and reroll. That's gonna be the game, right there. The only number of dice that the provocateur has is two because of the strain. That is the ball game. Congratulations, Jason Hall, winning 200 to 65, our first round of the Tatooine Galactic Championship qualifier. Thank you to ISO, Danko, Baffle, Trojan, Prophet, Shadow, Tycho, Spice, Raider, Lancer, Fallen, and Row 6 our Grand Admiral patrons, and all of our Gold Squadron patrons and community members. Thank you so much for your support. Gold Squadron out.